Welcome back everyone to Caleb the Video Maker 2. That's my new official theme song. <laughs> so this is where we left off <laughs> in the command line, but I don't really want to use the command line. So we're going to learn a new tool called MySQL Workbench. So to open that, uh, you need to go to your start menu, and I know mine's cut off a little bit, but that's okay. And you can just search Workbench. Now when you open this, there's already something listed here. And this is the default connection, your local host. That's exactly what we want to use, so it's nice that it already has that there for us. But we can add connections clicking this little plus button. And you can type in all the information you want. But for us, we're going to go with this local host, so double click that, and it's going to bug us for a password. Now this is the password that you gave when you installed MySQL. If you have no clue what I'm talking about, go watch the previous video. <laughs> and then I'm going to click Save Password in Vault. You know, because I want to make sure I'm using the most powerful account and have the password saved so that anyone can go in and delete my stuff. <laughs> No, but in all reality, this is a development environment. I don't really want to have to worry about forgetting my password and all that junk. So let's click OK. And voila, it opens up our database server. So just like in the command prompt, we can type in SQL. Well, we can do that here. So we could say select 5 times 5 and then execute it. And you can see it returns 25. So that's how you run SQL commands inside of MySQL Workbench. There's a lot of stuff you can do to customize the view here. For example, there's these buttons over here you can press. And as you can see, that makes things happen, and you can hide stuff. There's also this button up here, View, and you can go to Panels and basically do the same thing. I'm going to enable all of those just so we can see everything. And if you look down here over on the left, you can see here are our schemas. So it's kind of hard to see, so we have to drag this down a little bit. But essentially, this is going to be our databases. So here is a database, and it has these tables in it. So when we create a new database, it'll come down here. One interesting thing you can do is press this little button here. And essentially what that's going to do is hide all of this other junk. So let's click that and you can see it's all gone. Boom. And if you need to see it again, you can click it again. And there you go. Also, when you click that, you can go down here and click this button to get to the other tabs. So for example, we can click this button here and it will bring back the schemas. That's kind of useful because a lot of this junk I don't really care about right now, so <laughs> I'm gonna maximize that and just keep it like that. Now, if you need to go back to the home page that opened when we first started, you can go up here and click this little house, and there you go. MySQL Workbench is a very popular program for designing databases, so to do that, you can go down here to the model section and click plus, or you can dork around with the one they already have on there. One thing that might come in useful for you is this MySQL Utilities thing. Uh, I never actually installed that, but you can download that. That'll give you some extra stuff you can do with MySQL, but we're not going to need that for now, so I'm not going to download that. So yeah, guys, that is a very rough intro to MySQL Workbench. Now, I actually have an entire video over MySQL Workbench that I went into detail on how to do different things and design databases, and you can watch that if you want. Uh, just check it out. I'm, oh, God. Claire! Sorry, guys. Uh, there's a uh, stalker on the loose. <laughs> uh, anyways, you can check that out if you want, or you can just go through the series, and we'll be covering some of that information in this series. So thanks, guys. Hopefully this worked out for you. If you have any comments, please leave them below. Click like if this video is helpful. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Be sure to subscribe. Oh, it's still recording.